Here's a situation. You have a very long list of receivables in a data sheet that you know is perfect for VLOOKUP. What you need is a way to create a VLOOKUP that's draggable. Here's my example. Let me show you what I did. I have a regular VLOOKUP formula up here with one exception. The third position. Normally in the third position you would type the column number that you're interested in. But if you do that, then this isn't draggable anymore. You'd have to reproduce that same formula in the column over and type in the new column number. And then do it again here and all the way over. Now I have a total column and 25 customers. That's 26 times. That's wasting a lot of time. And as a smart manager, you know time is of the essence. And anything you can speed up increases your efficiency and will just benefit you overall. So I always want to try to pick the fastest way to do anything. So instead of typing the number in here, I'm using a cell reference. I'm going to refer back to my data sheet. So let's swing over to the data sheet and look at it. Here's all my data. It has more branches than I'm interested in. I only want to pull back information from two branches, branch 4 and branch 7. Here I want to have the name of the branch because it's more descriptive to the people that are reading this report. On the data sheet, it doesn't give me that information. So what that means is the numbers that I am interested in on the data sheet start in column B, but they need to be pulled over to column C here. So the columns are not going to line up. I just have to keep that in mind. So back on the data sheet, to get the first formula to work, this top row is going to become my helper row. And all I need to do is type in the column numbers here. So I'm going to start right here and go 1 and 2. That's enough information. I can highlight this, grab this, and pull it all the way over. That puts the appropriate column number on the top of every one of my columns. And now this formula is working. One other thing I need to do is I need to lock this appropriately. I want to lock the row because that's the helper row. I don't want it to move, but I want the column to move. So I come up here and I hit F4. It locks both. I hit it again and now it's the way I want as shown by the dollar sign meaning that column or row 4 is going to stay constant but the column can move so now I can grab this and drag it all the way over and it pulls over the information appropriately but there are two issues with this version and that is first of all you have to type a column or a row helper and if this gets disturbed for some reason it's going to return a bunch of errors so I have a different version here that doesn't require a helper row. It's just personal preference, but I happen to like this one better. Instead of using a cell reference, I've used the function columns. And you've got to give it two pieces of information. You have to tell it where you want it to start, and you have to tell it where you currently are. So this is going to be working off of the data sheet. So I always want to start in column A. Now the row here doesn't matter because we're counting columns. I always start in A, so I need to lock that. I don't want that to ever move. The second position is where I'm starting. Remember on the data sheet, all my numbers start in B. So I want to lock it the way I did the other one, which is hit the F4 key twice, so B can move, but the row doesn't, and hit Enter. This is working. I can pull this all the way over, and it pulls accordingly. And since I like this one better, I can pull it up as well and then pull it over to get everything. Let me show you what I did here. Two versions. The top version is the version where you need the helper row. The bottom version is the version I ended up using. It's the version where you don't need the helper row. And that is a way to solve this need.